Greetings, my name is Juan, and today we will be debating about the possibility of life on other planets. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Lewis, and I will be arguing the point of the religious fanatic uh, Christian, and I will be using the Bible as my main source of argument. My name is Eric. I will be arguing the point of the militant atheist who uses science as his main source of information in the debating points. And Okay, we'll start with you, Louis. Tell us about your intake on the subject. All right, uh, Juan, first of all, I want to distinguish what exactly we're talking about here. Um, you said that we're discussing life on other planets. Correct. But that is not up for discussion because we've already found life on other planets. What we should really be talking about is intelligent life on other planets. And according to the Bible, God created only three beings with intelligence, and that is angels, animals, and man. Now, also, according to the Bible, the book of Genesis, the earth was created first with the sun, the stars, and the moon afterwards. The, with the sun and the stars all serving as a, a tool for mankind. They, the, they are meant to be used as for light in the case of the sun and the moon and as a, uh, a reference, a point of reference for uh, distinguishing time. Also, one of the points for you know my colleague here is that is it's going to be too this the space is too big to simply say that we are the only uh, beings with intelligence in it so my counter to that is that god made this the the universe so big as a display of his power because god is the only being that in a whim can create something so massive. Now, also to prove this point, in the book of Psalm, it states that the heavens are telling of the glory of God and their expanse is declaring of, work, of the work of his hands. Okay, I'm glad you like a book, but we can't judge anything scientific based on that. For example, I really like the book Green Eggs and Ham but it's obviously a fact that we see many colors of ham and white eggs every day in our lives. And plus, researchers at Harvard have found that there's almost 100% likely a chance that there's life on other planets, and 40% chance that there's life on other planets in our galaxy. Now, whether that is intelligent life or not, we don't know. Well, we've been looking for signals from other intelligent life for about 50 years from now on other planets. And it's been documented in this book, The Eerie Silence, and no intelligent life has been found so far. Now, Harvard astronomer Howard A. Smirth declared that life beyond Earth is impossible, which is a point that many use to argue that there isn't life on other planets. Now, if, you, like you say, aliens or other life is still out there, they would have already visited or came to Earth by this time. Uh, it's been uh, documented that it's been about 50 billion years and no, no attempt has been made from aliens. Well, well, one, don't you mean about 6,000 years according to the Bible? Well, according to the Bible, it starts off uh, by saying in the beginning. It, it is, there's no time frame from then and now to really calculate the time. Yes, the Earth has been around for 15 billion years. And maybe they're just not coming to our planet because they don't want to bother us, similar to ants on our planet. We have millions of ants. They look at us like these giant creatures, but we don't always bother them. Also, it is very possible that they might be at the same evolutionary stage as us. They may not have the alien spacecraft to travel, you know, hundreds of light years away and visit our planet. Who knows? Well, I'd like to thank you for your time and for your comments. Uh, we're running out of time and it doesn't seem like we're getting anywhere. But before we finish, I would like to ask you something. And I know that you have your faith, but with all of this said and done, do you honestly believe that there is no possibility of life, not even one bit of possibility on another planet?
And keep in mind that although you have your faith, the Bible never denies that there is another life form outside of Earth. Oh, you